My name is Giselle Kolenic, and I'm a lead statistician at the University of Michigan's Center for Statistical Consultation and Research, also known as CSCAR. In today's lesson, we'll be discussing source classifications using InVivo 9. To start, we'll navigate to an existing InVivo project. In this project, we have four sources, Barbara, Margaret, Robert, and Thomas. For these individuals, for these separate sources, we may want to add attributes like age, sex, ethnicity to our in vivo project. A convenient way of doing this is actually creating an Excel file that contains information on each of your participants or each of your sources that you can import into in vivo. We already have a file created where each person is listed with their age, their gender, and the number of generations they've lived down east. We're going to create a source classification and import this Excel file into InVivo. First, I'll close the Excel file, and then in InVivo, I'll navigate to my Classifications tab in Navigation View. Once we're in Classifications, you'll notice that we have a couple different options. We can create a source classification or a node classification. Source classifications are ideal in scenarios like the one we have here, where each participant has their own source document. In another lesson, we'll cover node classifications. Since we'll be creating a source classification, we want to be sure that the source classification folder is activated and then in the white space we'll right click and select New Classification. Here I'll call this new classification Person and select OK. Next what I need to do is navigate to each of my sources and apply this empty classification to each of those sources. To do this I'll navigate to the Sources tab. I'll select all of my participants, right-click, and select Classification. Currently, there is no classification assigned to these four sources. What I'd like to do is change that to Person, the classification that we just created. Once I do that, I can navigate back to my Classifications tab and to my person source classification that I've created. If I right click on person, I have an option of importing a classification sheet. We'll select that option and follow the wizard. The first step is selecting the browse button. We'll navigate to where we've saved our classification sheet. I've saved my classification sheet my Excel sheet that contains the attributes or the variables of interest on my desktop. So I'll navigate and select Open. I'll now select the Next button. This is a classification type of a source classification. We'll leave this as default. And we'll also go ahead and check all three of these boxes. Click Next. Next, what we want to do is specify how our sources are going to be merged together in a sense. How are we going to merge this Excel file with our existing data? Right now what I'd like to do is merge based on the names. So here I have individual sources with the names Barbara, Margaret, Robert, and Thomas. In my Excel file I also have the names Barbara, Margaret, Robert, and Thomas. So I want to match on these names and then I want to select the location where these names are. Here they're in our internals folder. Once I select internals I'll go ahead and click on OK and select Next. I'll leave this as default and select Finish. InVivo should then pop up a classification sheet 
and we can see from this classification sheet that Barbara, Margaret, Robert, and Thomas have been merged in with the information containing their age, gender, and generations down east. Now we can use this information for queries later on. I could try a matrix query where I could investigate if there are differences between males and females in terms of their beliefs on the environmental changes down east. This concludes our lesson on source classifications.